Let's now shift our focus to Pakistan, where religious scholars have declared a human milk bank as un-Islamic. Yes, you heard that right. An initiative meant to promote infant health and nutrition is now under threat in Pakistan because it offends a section of the society. Here's what you need to know. Earlier this month, the first human milk bank was established in Pakistan at the Sindh Institute of Child Health and Neonatology in Karachi. Developed in partnership with UNICEF and the Pakistan Pediatric Association, the facility opened its door to provide uh, donor milk to infants who cannot receive su sufficient breast milk from their mothers. Now, the initiative represents a major step forward in promoting infant health and nutrition, especially as low breastfeeding rates have led to stunted growth crisis in Pakistan. The Human Milk Bank in Karachi was established to take on these challenges. A dedicated facility to collect, pasteurize, store and distribute human breast milk donated by lactating mothers. Alas! Religious fanatics in Pakistan do not agree. In fact, on Saturday, the Human Milk Bank temporarily suspended operations following criticism. The launch of the Human Milk Bank sparked a heated debate on social media. While supporters stressed on the bank's importance for infant health, religious scholars said it goes against Islamic law regarding breastfeeding. They declared the milk bank Haram, which means forbidden under Islamic law. Mufti Muhammad Taki Usmani, a Karachi-based retired federal Shariat court judge and leading Islamic scholar, issued a fatwa declaring the establishment of the human milk bank illegal. In a statement, Sindh Institute cited religious decrees from prominent scholars as the reason for the suspension, they stated their commitment to uh, respecting religious and cultural sensitivities, but they also emphasized on the critical need for the milk bank, explaining how breastfeeding is vital to save the lives of these vulnerable children. The matter has been referred to the Council of Islamic Ideology for further guidance. But why would the scholars issue a fatwa against a milk bank? Why would they deny infants nutrition? Well, they argue that in Islam, a woman who breastfeeds a child not biologically related to her develops ties of milk kinship called radha with that child. And so a milk bank, they say, goes against the Islamic law regarding breastfeeding. But Pakistan is not the only Islamic country facing this challenge. In fact, in 2019, a newly opened human milk bank in Bangladesh was shut down after similar protests from, from religious scholars. Religious scholars argue that this concept of milk kinship shows the cultural divergence between Islamic and Western perspectives on familial relationship. While milk banks have existed around the world, the concept of radha has impeded the adoption of milk banks in the Muslim world. You do know Iran is one of the only Muslim countries in the world that has an active human milk bank. It was established in 2016 at the Al Zahra Teaching Hospital in Tabriz. Going back to the situation in Pakistan, what does the fatwa against the milk bank really tell you? Because to us, this looks like yet another example of how fanatics in Pakistan just will not let the country develop. Already the situation is dire in the country. It is resource constrained, food insecure. As per UNICEF, nearly 10 million Pakistani children suffer from stunting. But we don't expect the fanatics to know or care about all that. After all, they have their own agendas to fulfill. But in pursuing their own agendas, did they even bother to consider what will happen to the infants at risk of stunting? How will premature babies receive their nutrition? Or does their interpretation of Islamic law override the lives of children and the future of the country? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.